So I'm uh, getting the needle and going with the teaser. I'm definitely working a teaser tonight. And uh, not sure what's going on. Um, I just fish like you guys. I get out when I can and I work the water. I haven't found any real patterns. The fish are definitely scattered, doing all different things all over the place, in and out, and this and that. So I am going to just enjoy the night, the morning, and I'm going to work the, the needle. Uh, it's a relatively kind of slow surf tonight, so, um, but there is a bit of a surf, so I'm thinking the fish might be on the outside, uh, hanging in deeper water. I'm going to start with this and, you know, work the water, walk a bit, see what's going on. And uh, maybe we'll pick out a fish or two. We'll see. I've been going back and forth between the uh, olive and the yellow. But the most important thing, I, I love my colors. The color is definitely secondary. The weighty allure is definitely primary. I definitely would rather use the right weight before the right color. But uh, I'm just going between an olive and a yellow shade tonight. And... Uh, all right, we got our first fish of the night. It might be a shad, a big one at that. Could be a bass, but uh, got him coming in now. Not here. Could be a bass. Coming in now. After this, I'm gonna minimize the light. Oh yeah, we got a nice bass. That's a nice fish. Wow, that's a nice fish. Came in real easy too. Wow. Fish got the needle working. He came in real easy. He's got to be tired. I like these needles because they're big. Really nice hook set. I'm gonna get him on his way. Maybe there's some more. He had some parasites. He's definitely a keeper, about 30 inches. 16, 24. He's about 30. So let me get him. Get him on his way and see if we get a few more. If not, it's a big, big shad. Him off. Let's get him going. Let's go. There he goes. One thing for sure when you're Fishing for moving fish, fish that just aren't there. Uh, I'm assuming those fish are moving tonight. Well, the past, the past few nights, I've been assuming those fish been moving. Is I spend some time moving myself while I cast because those fish are moving, and you can pick up that stray fish uh, while you're walking. Now, if the fish are on a tight bite, I stay put and catch them. But uh, and I, I like to move and uh, fish some structures hard and tight and uh, move. And while I'm moving, I'll cast. Because those fish are moving, and you can intercept them as they're moving. So, anyway, just some thought. The fish are definitely out there. Um, I heard they had them fairly well on the boat, so... Sometimes when that happens, and they're not getting them in the day on the shore, nighttime a couple of fish will trickle in, and you can pick at them. But uh, you find a fleet, you found a fish. That's about how we did here. So, um, seems to be on the needle. I am working that teaser through, and again, I'm sure I would have picked a few more smaller fish, but I'm concentrating on the outside. So. But a good night, good night so far. That's a bass. I'm gonna bring him in. All right. Feels feels like a better fish than the other guy. But we'll see. There he is. Wow. Smaller. 
Yeah. Smaller fish. Almost lost him too. I'd like to have seen what he tanked. Might get a few more. These little guys. Gotta watch out with them. They flop around. And... Where's my lure? There it is. Get him going. He gave me a better fight than that big guy. That big guy probably took a long journey. This guy probably came out of the back. That's my guess. He's still working the needle. I'm not sure what he take. I'm using an olive. So the fish are definitely, the bigger ones are definitely ranging out there. Um, working the water a bit, but a fun night. Um, you know, that's just uh, good fishing. I'm actually enjoying the fishing. So uh, uh, I'm going to get to it. <laughs> but uh, those fish are a little further out. Uh, probably would have had some smaller ones working tighter in. And uh, maybe we'll get another one. So I'm going to try a, a little bit more currany around here. So I'm going to try a uh, red-eyed, a little heavier needle fish. I think that's about two and a quarter ounces. Going to get us into down into that current a little better than the 175, 1 1.5 ones. So I'm going to see them just hanging. They seem to be on the bottom and way out. Um, there are smaller fish around. And I'm pretty sure if I worked along the side of the beach, I'd pick up a few more of them. But I think those bigger fish just are hanging out further. So that's what I've been doing. Um, I'm going to see maybe we get something a little bigger, a little decent. And uh, working needles so far. They seem to beat the ticket. I'm on now. I actually went to a heavier needle. I'm going to turn off the light until I get them in. I want to see what my rod is doing. Feels like an okay fish. Should be coming in now the light back on. A little lazy, but another one surprised me. He does feel like he has a bit of weight to him. Let's get a look. Wow, I think I see him splashing out there. I think he is a better fish. They're just, they seem cold. They... Wow, he is a nice one. There he is. I can see him now. Wow. Oh, wow. Got him on the back. There he is. He's about 30, I think. Wow. Got him in the back. That's why he was lazy. He looks like he's close to, close to 30. Oh. Get the pliers for him. Maybe he'll get his own way. Hooked him good. Get him on his way. That's a decent fish. Definitely a keeper. As per the leader or the rig, this is just regular. I like 50, I'm using 50 pound mono, I'll use 30 sometimes. And uh, just tie that, that's a surgeon's loop that I cut, drop my teaser on. It's uh, probably over three feet. Uh, maybe four, well, that's the needle. Yeah, just over three feet, I think. 50 pound mono to a swivel, and uh, I'll be about. Oh, well that's over. 
Yeah. Probably 28 inches at least, 30 inches to the teaser. And that's just how I am rigged. That's 50 pound monofilament line. So I try to get out fishing when I can and they're all moving fish around as you, you know, like the past few nights. And uh, at least for me, you know, you just gotta work for them a little bit, but they are definitely there. Um, and uh, really, it's, it's you know, a few fish in a few hours. It's not bad, that's good fishing, you know, at least for me. Uh, 80, 90% of the time, you're not gonna be fishing blitzes. But uh, get out fish when you can, that's what I do. And uh, the fish are there, high tide, low tide, mid tide. Um, you'd be surprised some days uh, when you head out. But uh, I just fish when I can. And uh, sometimes you go out and you hit them good and you go back for them. But uh, this is fishing, fishing. This is real fishing. That's what we're doing. All right, hooked up here. Feels like one of those. I don't know if he's a keeper. He's like a smaller fish. Let's see. Oh, we got skates. I'm heading out. I'm out of skates. I'm going to call it a night now. that are shaking sometimes they come out don't do this they got spikes on them I just I'm used to it but uh, don't grab those skates like that they'll cut you up but now I'm gonna head out